short. And well, that one. slapped away. It's a good shot, isn't it? So he kind of got to the pitch of it and pulled it out in the deep, and it just trickles over the rope. So a bit of reprieve here, Gav, for, for the Blues as Matt Jilks punches that one away on the leg side. Cut away by Enriquez into the gap. It'll go for four. First boundary of the morning. Swept in to continue. Into Enriquez. Dropped to its short and pulled away. And that will go out towards the mid-wicket boundary. Four, six. Steckett is out on the fence, but he was a long way from it. And there's a repeat of the shot. That's gone for six as well. Out towards the nets here at Dremoyne. Pulled away. Uppishly over square leg. That's gone the full distance, has it? Yep. Jilks has tucked in. And said, that'll do me. Thanks very much. I'm off for lunch. <laughs> pulled away down towards the deep back with square leg boundary and four to Enriquez to take him into the 40s pulled away by Jilks out towards deep square it bisects the field and Bartlett that's a quicker ball which is pulled away by Enriquez back with a square for four He's gone down the ground, a rare moment of aggression. Two bounces for four from Jilks. And that'll be overly discouraging to Swepson. Blanket in the sunshine now. Drop short, and this ball's been skied into the deep. This should be out underneath it, and taking the catch. Jilks departs for 49. Deckity. He's in and slashed away by Enriquez. Back with a square for four. Oh, he's beaten as Abbott. Oh, what a great catch it is from Pearson. Diving away to his right-hand side, and Abbott has edged one, and Abbott has to go. Wasn't sure that had carried, but what an outstanding catch. Oh, edged and taken, is it? It is. Burns takes a ripper at second slip, and Baxter Holt goes for a duck. Oh, that's edged as well. There's another one. Magnificent catch. So it burns again. Short ball that's punched nicely out through the covers by Henriquez. Swepson's herring after it, but he won't be able to reel it in. Again, Paul, wide of that man at short fine leg, and that will go for four from Henriquez to take him into the 90s. Swepson to Henriquez, who comes down the ground and hits Swepson down the ground for a boundary and it's gone for six to take him on to 98 and there's a peel for caught behind and he's out the innings of Tremaine comes to an end he's filthy with himself and again this game just when it looks like it might be heading for a draw has another twist and turn and this titanic innings by Chris Tremaine comes to an end on three Run up and looking to flick this one down the leg side and line goes. So Queensland through Swepson getting his fifth wicket. And now in the driver's seat to chase down this required total and snatch victory. First ball, Queensland needing 26 to win in four overs. And Burns defends the first ball back to the bowler. A bounce up, chops that one, pulls it around the corner. Hearing in from the deep is Tremaine. And uh, they just get the single. So eight runs from Abbott's first over. A positive start by Queensland, but they're none for 10. Require 16 off the last three overs here to pick up their second Sheffield Shield win to start the season. Yep, and the bowlers have done the work today. You are just joining us, Mitch Swepson, with five wickets. Five for 113. And New South Wales at one stage four for 203. Lost their last six wickets for 52. Now here we go. Are the umpires getting together. I think the light meter is going to be placed on those stumps. Are New South Wales walking off. They're walking back into position. It looks as if right, Patterson and Lyon and Co were walking towards the change rooms. Well, they want they want the game off. Obviously, New South Wales. 
And New South Wales are walking off the field. The umpire is showing Joe Burns the light meter. I don't think that's going to calm anybody down. Wow. 16 needed in three overs. And they are walking off. They're not offering the light to the batsmen. The two umpires have made the decision. Simon Lightbody and Greg Davidson have made the call. The two batsmen, Joe Burns and Matt Renshaw, are standing their ground and they are staying out there. But if they do go off, that surely is going to be it for the night because there will be no coming back from this. And Usman Kawaja, the captain of Queensland, is going out to chat with the umpires. Renshaw and Burns are disbelieving and you have to have a huge amount of sympathy for them the light meter will be a digital reading it will be a, a black and white issue that they've decided on over the past few days and Kawaja as you might imagine he's gone out to ask one or two questions it has got darker in the last few minutes yeah. Renshaw sits down on the wicket. Yeah, and they can't believe it. This is this is so rough on Queensland. Yeah, you'd feel you'd feel absolutely heartbroken. Um, 